Let's jump to the war here with part two of my Europa Universalis Rome Let's Play campaign as Rome. Alright, so previously we defeated uh, Magna Graecia, Epirus, Aetolian um, League, and a lot of Illyria. So that all went pretty well. Now, what are we going to do from here? I don't know. Let's see. Thinking, because in about a year, less than a year, we'll be able to re-attack, or attack again the, um, the Illyrians, finish the job there. What about Macedon? No Cassus Belli, but I might just attack them anyway. But whatever the case is, I want, a, I want a big military movement on this one. Let's do it. Alright, I need, I need troops. Right. I want to make sure the north here is protected. Barbarians are going to pour down here like fucking crazy because that's what happens in every campaign I've ever played of this game. And the only way to stop it... Well, you can't... The only way to stop it is to occupy the territories where they come from. But the only thing we can do at this point is to leave sufficient troops over here that can, um, can fight against them. We don't want too many of these archers. The, the Principes are much better. Another thing that you always have to juggle in this game is also manpower. It's it's more important than gold. If you run out of manpower, you die, basically. If you're in a war and you run out of manpower, you die. Unless you hire a shitload of mercenaries. Now, Macedon has got quite a large army down there. What's this? Yeah, that's fine. I've got a, quite a large army. Now, we've got a larger army, but the problem is I don't want to fight them and then have the war be over and I've got, like, no troops left. That would be an absolute disaster. Because the thing is, if we occupy all this territory, we don't gain extra manpower. We have to convert it to Roman culture, and that takes a long time. There's also Thracia out here. They're basically begging to get slaughtered. Let's just let's deal with Illyria first. There's there's a there's an upside and a downside, of course, to attacking this this stuff out here. The upside is, it's, it's territory. The downside is it borders fucking barbarians. The barbarians is this is honestly one of the worst places to be, because what happens is all of the so many barbarian settlements. Are, oh, okay, this is actually really good. Intrabali, good. All the barbarians roll down this way here. And show up in massive forces and what they do is they absolutely smash up your civilization value and that's very important because you need it to be quite high in order to make more colonizations so over here i don't know if that's gone for good or, or what i hope it is because we don't want barbarians You know it would be a quick war if we went and jumped over here. Just, just quickly go and take out Thracia. All right, what are some of our other our other issues? So we got Lucius Cornelius Scipio. He wants to break away. No, I can't deal with him just yet. We've also got the Third Legion has a disloyal commander. How disloyal is he? He's not a particularly great general either, so maybe firing him is not the end of the world. Let's have a look at what what's, what else there is around. This guy is loyal and he's... yeah, alright, we'll get him. Good, that sorted that problem out. Uh, yeah, those two can't trade with each other because they've got the same resource. <sighs> Omens. Double-edged swords. Maybe if we just pick something that doesn't matter too much. Let's see. There's always a chance it will succeed, but the chances are it won't. So pick something that doesn't matter if it goes the other way around. 
I'm going to go with defensive, because we're not really under any sort of attack right now. It'll only last a year. See, I knew it was going to fail. Because the odds were, were with it. But the whole point of that was to stop the populist faction, which is a really shit fucking faction in the Senate. If they, if they get a console in power, it causes problems. So why would you want that? Get rid of them. So what do we got? We got 18,000... Okay, 18,000 men's enough. 10% more than that. Alright, we got... 9,000 versus 18,000. We should be fine. Now. Yeah, come over here. Now, we have to put two armies, one in each region here, because for one thing, at this stage here with low technology, we can't actually upgrade the garrisons here, which is the best defense against barbarians. Oh, come on. At least we got you there. That's it. Score to zero. Typical. Okay, then we score to six. Good. Won that. Let's just quickly win this assault here. Come on, score us a good dice roll. And it's done. Excellent. Nice quick war. Annex that. Thank you very much. Can I declare war on Macedon? No. I might just I might just take that hit. Just after we've dealt with all this stuff first. We come back over here. We'll be able to declare war on them in the next few months. So these guys over here, their job, protect the northern border. It is crucial that we expand our border beyond Italy into the north. It's difficult to do because barbarians constantly will smash up the civilization value here. But we just need to be vigilant and keep probably 20,000 men on each tile here, which is why we need lots of manpower, and also we need lots of support limit. Because that's, you know, 20,000 men, we need 40 just dedicated to this, not to mention, you know, the other troops we need out this way for, wait, where are you coming? It's only three units, it's okay. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Bloody pirates. I don't even notice it sometimes. Militia offensive. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't really use militia. Okay. Gov okay, Macedon's governor. Let's have a look at you. Well, you've got no finesse anyway, so you're fired. Uh, this guy here, his loyalty's not much better, so... We'll go with the guy with at least 50%. Okay, we can declare war on these guys now. Good. Let's do it. Now, make sure we assign our commanders here, so that the Senate doesn't do it for us, because they'll assign someone stupid. problem is we need someone with high military skill because if someone shows up and they've got like 10 military skill it, it almost doesn't even matter if you've got a larger army ah, he's this guy's too ambitious he's got loyal units as well I'm gonna have to hire you Loyalty is a big problem with this. Noesia Superior, what's your problem? See, you're actually good though. So if we go into characters, uh, so you, yep. Let's grant you a title. This will buy us a little bit more time. Because high finesse means. Well, it's just higher value to us. Alright. Let's quickly assault this. I want this war to be over quickly. There we go. Good dice roll.
The Dice Roll. Good, and the war is over. Corrupt Governor, which who is the Governor of Magna Grecia. His finesse is four, so let's get rid of him. I mean, he's loyal and everything, but he's corrupt, so no deal. This guy's not loyal, but he's got high finesse, so I'll... What was his name? Just trying to remember his face. Yeah, him. Give him titles, which doesn't cost us anything, just gives him extra prominence and it's fine. Buys us some time. Oh, and over here, sue for peace, annex, done. <coughs> now, we could probably hit Dacia as well. No harm in it, it would be pretty easy. I think we gain a lot from it though. Fifth Legion is disloyal. Which one's the fifth? Hmm. I'll give it to you. I'll just try and keep this guy out of combat for the time being. Because he's going to be useless. We still don't have enough troops here. 10,000 and 10,000 is not enough. How are we going for capacity? Oh, we've got plenty of room for more. It's just a case of manpower. We, 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 we are eating into it quite heavily. Okay, there we go. Now, Dacia. Should we just take him out? The problem with Dacia is that it's surrounded by barbarian... Barbarian shits out this way, which is not bad if we if we trigger their attacks on us. Hmm. What about Macedonia? Maybe we should take out Macedonia first before they get too strong. What have we got available? We got twenty one thousand men. Just recruit a lot. What have they got? Twenty nine thousand. If we combined our forces. Oh, I'll merge this too. If we combine our forces, we might do pretty well against them. It's, it's a shame we're going to lose stability, but I'll just... I'll invoke um, the thing afterwards. Because we got gold. Gold's not a problem. I don't actually know how to get myself a Cassus Belly. So, just... Just go and attack him. Okay, the better one. So he's got seven. You've got six. This guy here should be in command. So 18,000 plus 24,000. That is 40 odd. Th hang on. Yeah, 42,000 soldiers. We would crush them. Provided we get some good luck. Now, there's no one guarding the border out here, so it's a big risk. But most of this stuff out here is shit anyway, except for Skodra. It's got a high civilization, felt high enough to colonize. It's a bit of a risk. But if we come in here and just get rid of them quickly... It might be okay. Could hire a mercenary army as well. Some mercenary troops. There's plenty available. We got we got gold, but I need that gold for this to, to replace the stability. Senate's not gonna be happy. Fuck him. We need to take out Macedon. We've got to expand. Alright, let's do this. Now, I declared war on them. Uh, we lost stability. I need to reverse course on that, so let's. How much is that gonna cost? Yeah, it's not so bad. Let's do that. So he's coming over here to attack us. Fine. 
Let him come to Epirus. Here's the plan. He comes to Epirus. He smashes it up. Doesn't matter if he captures it or not. Ruins his morale. And then we send... One or both of the armies down there to defeat him. And keep him on the run. Keep him in low morale for the foreseeable future. Oh, fuck off. Actually, that was pretty good timing because it showed up right on top of them. However, we lost population in Epirus, but that's just... It's almost okay, actually. Magna Grisha and Moes are superior. I've just got to keep an eye on them. As long as they're not falling below, like, 20, we should be okay. So he's, he's alright. But I think it just means it's going downhill. Okay, it's fine. Alright, over here. It's only got 1,000 troops. We'll just... I don't want to sit here and take attrition. Let's just roll the dice on that. Good. And take it. Let's head over here. So what's he doing? He's attacking it and failing. Go. So you'll arrive 25th of July. He'll arrive... Okay, too late. We're playing silly buggers, are we? Um, I need to buy this guy some time to, to capture this. Because if he gets attacked, he's not going to fare so well. So that's good. They lost quite a few troops attacking Epirus there. This is over with quickly. Good. Good dice roll on that. That's what I want to see. Hmm. We don't want him going into the north. We want to push him down south if possible. What if I send both of these guys down here? He's recovering his morale. I don't know about this. When will you arrive? 22nd of September? Just, just wait. We might need to wait for him to make his next attack there. How are we going for soldiers? So far, I think the war's going fairly well. If we if we did want to get a peace treaty, what could we get? We could probably get one territory off him, but... We lost two stability for doing this. We're going, we're going for... We can't get full annexation. annexation. They've got too much territory, but we can get more than this, obviously. So he's going for the attack again. And his dice roll was pretty good, and we lost Epirus, but that's okay. Because his morale is shit right now. So take back Epirus as quickly as possible. Fuck, I don't know about this. Okay, switch sides over to here. Get over there. Attack. Okay, he's changing course. Good. Stay here then. Alright, I want to take Macedonia as quickly as possible. Make sure we get a good dice. That's a decent dice roll. Not great though. His morale's just as bad as ours right here. They're recruiting like crazy as well. I'm wondering if I should bloody recruit some mercenaries. Motherfucker's coming in over here. Let's quickly take this. 
Get in over there, and you should back off. Right? No, he's not backing off. When do we arrive? 30th of November, 2nd of December. Okay. Our morale improved, so that's good. Now he's ready to, he's ready to fight. You, all you have to do is hold out for like two days. So already, we scored a better dice roll. Oh, he's got that. And we're smashing him. Excellent. And we got a bad dice roll. Come on, dice roll, better dice roll. There we go, good, good, good. Did we win? Good. Fucking hell though, good stuff. All right, solve this and finish the job. Um, I mean, we got bad morale now. I'm not sure if if we should push further down. We we took their capital, which is good and everything. You should come over to Epirus. We, we've got to recover a little bit. Unfortunately, that will allow him to recover as well. But I don't know what to do about that. We're also taking attrition here. It's not good. 36 units. Fuck. Okay, when does he arrive? Fourth. Six. Okay, we get there first. I just need to get some of my troops back. If he recaptures Macedonia, whatever. We couldn't just sit there either because of the attrition. Should invoke an omen. Yeah, just pick another shit one. We kind of need defensiveness now. So, what about Jupiter? Ruler popul- uh, I think we go with trade income because I don't make that much money from trade. Why would we even do that crap? But whatever. I just don't want the populace getting too strong. Okay, we can get army reform, which will increase our maintenance cost, which is not a big deal, but extra organization, national manpower. That sounds good. Let's grab that. Ah, oh, shit. I want to see what is. Okay, 36 men. Stay here, merge. All right, what's what's your command? Seven, can we get a better commander, please? No, seven's the best we've got. I'd love a nine. All right, while he's going north to go and occupy some settlements, oh, fuck it, I, I ne just need to go and attack him. We've got... Damn it, we actually have fewer troops than him. Oh, not necessarily. It depends how fast they've recovered. Now we've got more troops. So I think we need to chase him as best we can. Easy victory there. Actually, why don't we cut, cut them off down south? He's got some troops down here. Cut them off. I just, I just won't worry about them right now. If I'm taking attrition, surely he's taking attrition as well. Let's go down south and do a big land grab. Because they don't, they don't re-roll the dice when they get a bad one. That's one thing that we can do. Is re-roll the dice. In, in a siege. See that? That was great. Good. Take that out quickly. And let's move to Aboria next. So he, he utterly failed there. We can get a rough idea of what he's got. It's, it's, it's not 30,000 men. 
Ah, oh, they're going to cut us off because of the uh, the ships. All right, never mind. Oh god, that attrition's going to sting. Wait, how many troops are they? Fuck off. I should be going down here first. Second of June. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, what's? Oh, he. He did. He fucked up. I haven't been paying attention over here, and I probably should because barbarians could pop down at any moment and be like, you mind if I fuck your shit up? And I'm like, no, please don't. Good, we got him. Yeah, make our way down here. Take the Peloponnesus. We're probably not going to be able to hit Iboria. It doesn't matter. Just go and quickly take this stuff, come back over here and attack him again. Hopefully we can get this war over with soon. I, and I need to get back up this way. Alright, looking at disloyal governors. Need to keep an eye on this. Magna Grecia, what's your problem? 47%, that's fine. And you are at 49% as well. Okay, also fine. Uh, not great. We can do better than that. Considering our number of troops. There we go, that's better. Ha, <laughs> he failed again. Very nice. That's... Three men left. Buys us time. Trade agreement for Massalia. No, I don't really care. Okay, there's 2,000 men here, which means we'll take more damage, but it doesn't matter, because we're taking attrition anyway. Decent dice roll. Good. Get it done. Good. Moving on to Argolis. Now, if we go to Uboia, or whatever... Go away. Don't. If we go over here... And their fleet... 22 ships. If their fleet hangs out in this area, we'll never get off it. So we, we won't go there. There's, we're not going to get 100% war score on this, on this war. Good enough. Okay. They took Mehdi back. So we got 28,000 men, but they looked like they had something in the vicinity of about 15,000. Just That was just a, at a rough glance. So Seleucus declared war on Pergamon. Pergamon's gone. Actually, what might be a decent idea is if I just leave behind a few units, just a couple, it's a little bit risky because I'm not going to have as many troops for that. And send them over here. I mean, they're probably going to get blocked. But if they can get over there, they can start the siege. And maybe I could actually get 100% war score. Now, if we lose this battle here, I'm going to have to hire mercenaries, which are going to be expensive, but it has to be done because we're running low on manpower now. Uh, let's get an idea of what he's got. Okay, I was way off. So there's 20,000, 24,000 versus our 20... Oh, man, we're cutting it close on this one. Especially considering it's a river crossing. Get over to Epirus. Oh, hang on, hang on, he's being an idiot. Never mind. Twentieth of November. Ah, shit. We'll retake that immediately. Hang on. Fine, he's not too bad. Easy win here. Okay, 0% attrition here, but we are running low on manpower. Now, if we wanted to sue for peace, we've got 75% war score. 
And this is what I was saying before. I was worried about depleting my manpower to win this war here. Also, we sort of need to wait a while for this to happen. If we want to get to 100%, we need all three of these. If we stay right here... Yeah, let's see. Okay, this is good. Cultural, uh, culture in Syracuse becomes Roman. Excellent. That's good. Now we're actually going to get troops from here. Where's that going to go to? That's fine, whatever. Yeah, actually 900 troops a month, uh, a, um, a year. So he's coming down to attack us. He'll have a, we'll have a defensive bonus, but I'm not sure how it's going to go, so we're going to need some mercenaries. If we lose this battle, we'll have to sue for peace. Just try and take whatever we can. Okay, we can get mercenary prinker pays from over here. Oh wait, no, 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 that's just regular prinker pays. And get velities. Oh, hang on, I can get Prinker Pays from here, though. Take 106 days to train. Let's just roll the dice on this one here. And let's hope for a good do uh, roll dice. Uh, dice roll, fuck me. Oh my fucking god, a zero to their six. God damn you, motherfucking game. Scoring a six right after that isn't going to be enough. Shit. <laughs> that, that really couldn't have gone any worse. Oh, 10,000 men. We gotta... Man, that was super unlucky. Fuck you, game. Seriously. Alright, well, we need to... We need to uh, because that's, that's going to bring us down to zero. And I'd rather not hire 10,000 mercenaries. Alright, demand tribute. Okay, let's see. Well, let's take the Peloponnesus. These three down here. Would have been nice to have gotten a bit more out of that. But we won the war. And next time they're not going to be able to field as many troops. Because well, we've taken away quite a bit of their manpower. Now, it's not like these territories down here were great. Oh well. In hindsight, it would have been better to um, to get that peace treaty before that battle because that was very costly. Ten thousand men losses is a lot. But you know, we gained some decent territory. Only thing is, winning a battle is only worth like. 1% war score. Alright, so now we need to hunker down and just not fight anyone for a little while. Except for maybe Dacia. God, a, a 0 to 7. <laughs> it's like, can't get much worse than that. If we had won that battle, we could have pressed onto Paeonia and Maeidi, waited for that to happen, and we probably could have taken Thessaly, in addition to what we already took. So, one extra region. Which, you know, not a bad region to take. We'll just have to get it next time. Okay, invoke an omen again. Again, just do stuff that's not going to bother us too much. Okay, I'm not too concerned about defensiveness now. That's three times in a row we've failed. Also, I want to get my... Stability back up. Got 22,000 men here, more than enough to go and crush these guys. How are they doing over here? 17,000, 18,000. That should be enough, at least for the time being. How are we going? Well, we've increased our capacity by a lot, so that's good. That's actually really good, 100, 100 units. We, we just need manpower now, and that's going to take a while. It's certainly helped that Syracuse is now providing us with a, a 
almost a thousand men every year. So they've got rebellions going on, fine. Okay, declare war on them. This should be easy, we just go in, what's this? Oh, who cares, it doesn't really matter so much. Eight units, okay, that's fine. That would have lowered the civilization value a little bit. So we've got 37 units there, so they're, they're really undermanned. Could hire mercenaries to buff up the numbers, but... If we just... Just wait a little while, we'll get our... We'll get our manpower back up. Okay, we got some gold from that and some slaves. And at least they softened up the defenses here for us. Okay, we got we got three places that are going to be a bitch now. Magna Grecia, let's have a look at that. So you're still at 47%, okay. Macedonia, you're at 47, and I think it's the other one is... Horatia Superior. Also fine, okay. Once the population here reaches 10, we could start colonizing some of these territories as well. Not the best of dice rolls, but good enough to win this war. We were in, we've we lost a lot of troops. Well, at least the war's over. Okay, actually, um, I'm gonna actually let's see. I need to take some of these units out because he'll replenish over time. As long as I don't get into any more fights and barbarians don't kick our ass too much, I want you to come down here and meet up with them. Want the population to grow. Good to spread out the grain as much as we can. So over here, national de decisions. Proclaim oligarchic republic, which would provide us with extra wealth. Meh, I don't really need to do that. Tell me what to do. Alright, only only major problems here are just revolts. That's it. So why is Epirus so pissed off? Because of what? Nationalism, war exhaustion, governor's corruption. Oh yeah, he's very corrupt. And he's very fired. Alright, so we gain 900 men each month. Oh, mother of fucker. How many troops is that? Alright, it, was, it wasn't much. <laughs> yeah, but they're not in any position to be fighting right now. So. Um... With 900 men a month, how long is it going to take us, do you reckon, to replenish? So we need 21,000. It's going to take several years to get our numbers back up. But, you know, we gained the Peloponnesus. And next time we go up against Macedonia, they're not going to be as tough. See, they, they can only muster 26 units now. So at 4-9, in five years, we could declare war on them again, if we want to. Which I probably will.
In five years' time, we'll have recovered the manpower that we lost. And these territories down here, they gain us a little bit of taxes, which we can use to hire mercenaries if, we, if we're desperate, which not at this stage. Okay, so what we do in this situation is we go down there and we don't hit O... They, they shot when we hit Odia. So we go down there and um, when we're there, then we hit Odia. Well, something that you can actually do is... Ah, oh, they fixed it. Because <laughs> uh, I, I have the disc version. I only recently bought the Steam version. You used to just be able to like grab these and just chuck them way, way down here and that you couldn't see it anymore. And as long as you, you know, when you quit the game and get back into it, they just disappear. Old exploits. This game used to have a lot of exploits. I haven't actually played with Vey Victus before. It does seem a lot harder, just because of the loyalty issues. Bad harvest. Oh, come on, it was only 25% chance, you fucking prick. God damn it, I have the worst luck. I hate luck-based things. It's four in a row. But I don't want the populists to, to gain too much support. Yeah, Pokemon's gone. Yeah, we won't be having any expansion for a little while. So looking at like that. Okay, only 15,000 more to go. Alright, it's not too bad. And, you know, our manpower will... will increase over time, especially as we convert some of these other cultures. Like, these ones here are providing some troops, but if unless they're actually Roman, um, we only get 20% of it because they're just... it's the same culture group. But with army reform, does that mean any... Settlement can now provide troops. No. Alright, well, he's still got pretty high loyalty, so I'll leave him be for the time being. So what do they advise in military? We need to raise more troops. The armies of Carthage outnumber us by 21%. Well, it's just purely because of lack of manpower. That's going to change. At least we got an idea now of how strong Carthage is. Roughly. Roughly exactly what we've got right now. Twenty-five units in there, seventeen units here. Okay, I want to take a few of these guys out. And a few of these. Because I need them over at Tribali. We gotta we gotta make sure we cover this entire area here. No, hang on. Need more troops, though. It's okay, it's catching up. Now, if, if memory serves me correctly, 
The way it actually works is that you get 100% of your replenishment back every 10 years. Okay, this is good in Moesi. And excellent, we gain a successful colony here, which means Roman culture. Now, it doesn't have a whole heap of freemen here, but... Hey, an extra couple of hundred men a year. 346, that's good. That's a couple extra a month. As I've said before, gold's one thing, but men are more valuable than gold. Which is why I somewhat consider getting mercenaries, but you know, we've got other things to do as well. So we need 130 for that. Our infamy, infamy doesn't help. Okay, then. So with how many units do they have there? Just 10. That needs to be more, but... We'll make do. Wow, this, is, this guy's pretty good. And a stake by Tribali. I haven't heard a peep out of Northern Barbarians from here, but to be honest, that could actually be a bad thing. The longer we go without hearing them from them, the bigger it is when we do hear from it. See, this is what I'm talking about. We needed to get over there. Hmm. Should be okay. We outnumber them, but we have to do a river crossing. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're going to win that. So even with the... Oh, come on. What's with the dice rolls? Game loves to throw me some zeros, don't they? That sets me back by about a month. No, oh, well, rebellions happen. And war exhaustion's almost gone away. Pirates showed up over here. Just five ships, no worries. I really want to get a surplus of manpower before I declare war on Mastodon again. I hope. I hope. We don't have a Cassus Belly though again. I don't want to lose another two fucking things again. No, go away. Why is this so many bad thing? Okay, as long as we don't go to war or fight anyone within a year, we should be fine. I feel like if we want to declare war willy-nilly, we just need loads and loads of gold. Cecilia, okay. This guy wants to become Ducks of Macedonia. He's actually pretty good, but he can be Ducks of Sicily. How about that? So what's this region's problem? Alright. If we have um, some stability, that'll fix it. Well, we can afford it, so... Do it. I don't want revolts happening. I'm trying to minimize that as much as possible. 
Excellent. So more Barbarian Absorption in Trevali. And that brings it down to zero, so it shouldn't happen again. And it increased our population here, so that's always good. Good, we've almost recovered our losses from the war. Well, actually, we were in like 30,000 surplus when the war began. Look, they're down to 14 units. They just can't support them anymore. Okay, here they come. We've got 19 units here and three units. Okay, 19 units, not too bad. They should be able to handle that. How, how good are you? Five. Okay, you're fired. Should still be able to be... I mean, they mostly have crap generals, but sometimes, occasionally, they have a really good one. Anyway, they're coming down to Marsilia. Yeah, no, we're good. I didn't need to take him out, but yeah, I just did anyway. Can't see what their generals are. From a glance. Good, and he picked up a few troops from over here, so that's that's been emptied of barbarians. That's good. So over here, it's almost at 10. We can probably start occupying this soon. They're just going to keep keep trying. But once they've failed once, they're most likely going to fail again. Especially if they don't have a good commander. I'm not going to let that happen. The last thing I want is for them to lower the, the civilization value here. One day I'm going to hold on to this settlement. And I need that civilization value to be nice and good. And also that, that value is increasing... Liguria, it should be. Yeah. Good, we're recovering. Next time they come over here, they'll probably get wiped out. And that way we'll get some extra slaves, that'll help with gold. It's all good. So we can see that the Seleucids have negative stability. If, they were, if the Parthians were to show up, that would be pretty cool. I never actually see them show up in this game. They can, if they show up in by revolt. It's the only way for them to show up. Yeah, this time they're gone. And we get no gold. I think they only get gold if they've looted a settlement. But we get one extra population of slaves. Okay, so we've now got a high enough population that we can colonize one of these. Okay, I want you to send a few extra troops down here to assist. And what we're going to do here is trigger them to show up. So what we do 
we grab a mercenary ability, and we just throw them into that territory. They're going to get annihilated. It doesn't matter, it didn't cost us any manpower. Speaking of which, I should probably recruit a few more troops out here. Triggers the, um, the Barbarian Uprising. We defeat it, we colonize it. Done. Oh yeah, another another omen. What a, what a great idea. Because they've been so good to us so far. I'm going to go with this because trading comes not that important. Oh, it actually succeeded. How about that? Most of our money comes from taxation. Now we could actually declare war on the Arverni. Oh, sorry, the Helvetii. That's how Arverni for. But we don't share a border with them yet, so I don't really see the need to. Seven units are going to get crushed. It's good, our manpower is... Yeah, we're getting our numbers back up. And their numbers have gone way down. I guess they were really relying quite heavily on this. There's quite a lot of slaves down here. Yeah, always good to see populist faction lose some senators, because they just get they just get way too many sometimes. Okay, the first legion. Where are you? give you these titles here to just buy us a little bit more time because he's actually a pretty good commander. But let's just see who else is available. No one else is available that's any better. Oh, the whole chance there is zero percent. Oh, we have to wait for it to grow a little bit. All right, work over here. I mean, you can technically trigger it just by standing there, but if it says zero percent, it's probably not going to happen. Let's just do this one first. Good, I'm glad that they're low. And I'm glad that they're high. I have no problem with the mercantile faction, although I would probably prefer the military faction, because that would negate our difficulty penalties. Uh, hang on, get out of that. We got incoming. Last thing I want is double fucking trouble. And we got double trouble. Great. Ah, just my luck. Could have disbanded him, but it doesn't matter. It's done, it's done now. I'll try and get over there. I mean, he should be able to handle it. He's got 17,000 troops up against. Yeah, take them out first. Ooh, come on, get a good... Oh, shit. They've got a decent commander. Hang, on, hang back. This is not good. If they hit Skodra, no colonization for us. God damn it. Can't get over there now. We would have won if I didn't fucking do that. How long until you arrive? You need you to fucking hurry. 
Luckily their morale is low. So just get them the fuck out of here. So how many men did we lose? About 6,000. What kind of commander are you? You're actually pretty good. I think we rolled some more bad dice. Get in there. Stop them. Oh, hang on. What do you reckon? Looks like we're gonna win. Hard to tell, though. Still send them in just in case, because the bad dice roll could really fuck us up. Okay, we lose loads. We lost a lot of men, but it's okay. in our own lands. I don't want to colonize this until the rebels, uh, the barbarians actually dealt with. At least they don't recover their troops, except if they come out here and get reinforcements. Should we oh, God damn it. Just stay there for the time being. Not taking any attrition until they're actually in our lands. Just combine them for the time being. Under one commander. And then we'll split them up after this is dealt with. Crushed them this time. No sweat. But it's not over yet. Oh, so the laws don't last forever, do they? Because I'm pretty sure I already did that one, right? Didn't I? No, it was this one. Yeah, I'll do that. Extra national tax modifier. That'll pay for itself over time. Why are we taking so much? It should only be 5%. Let's just split up now. Good. All is well. That ends well there. And now we can colonize this, gaining us more territory. Next one is this one here, but we need we need the population. That'll take some time. And we're down to zero again with Well, you know, barbarians are gonna do what they're gonna do, so it costs us men. We'll be able to declare war on them again in a year, but I haven't achieved what I wanted, which was to recover a lot of my men. Why are you disloyal? You want to triumph? Well, it's only 16 gold. Alright, there you go. Still okay, as long as it doesn't drop below 20%. If it drops below 20%, we'll send him a bribe or fire him or something. It's just that he's got high finesse. I, I like that.
Now it's starting to get a bit big. Oh, God. I want to expand over, you know, Carthage and stuff, but the barbarians have to be dealt with constantly. Anyway, we've got ourselves a new province here, and once we've incorporated the barbarians, we'll be able to get a few extra manpower per month. Ah, oh, fuck! They've got an ally. Pontus and the Bosphorus Kingdom. I don't imagine Pontus is that strong, but it just it adds a spanner in the works. We'd have to we'd have to take this out very quickly. Or, hang on, if I declared war on him, I don't have a Cassus belly, but why am I able to declare war on other people but not them? I've, it's something I've never been able to figure out. What's with the Cassus belly shit? What about Pontus? What if we declared war on Pontus? Okay, we declared war on Pontus and. Macedon just gets dragged into it anyway. But we also have to go to war with Colchis as well. Eh, it's these guys here. Barbarian absorption where? Agri... Oh, straight away? Nice. Successful colony. Good. More manpower. It won't be much, but it's something. I'd much rather deal with these guys one at a time, though. What if I... Hmm. And we haven't even come close to using our maximum capacity, either. So I still don't get it. How come I've got a Cassus Belly against Pontus, but I don't have one against Macedon? So they feel threatened by Pontus, but I guess they wanted to ally themselves against... They consider me worse. A corrupt governor. Which one? Thracia. We'll hire someone else. He's not that good anyway. Oh, he's seven. Yeah, whatever. You're too corrupt. 50% corruption. Go away. I don't want any more revolts. It keeps causing my manpower to drop. One thing I really like about Paradox games, most of them, is that they've they've got manpower um, modifiers, which I think is such an important aspect of war and something that Total War totally fails on and hasn't been doing so since Bloody Medieval 2. And that sometimes, it's not... You can have a country like Carthage that has loads and loads of gold, but, like, no fucking manpower, and that can't compete with a country like Rome that has loads and loads of manpower, like Carthage... Like, at the Battle of Cannae, they lost so many men. And because Rome had access to huge pools of manpower, they are able to keep fighting. And that's just an element that's just not in Total War anymore. Okay, so we've fully recovered. Now it's just a matter of whether or not we want to recruit more units. I mean, we're okay over here, but I did say I wanted probably 20,000 men standing on each of these. We've certainly got enough capacity for it. It's just the manpower. We need more. So this will become available. It's getting there. It'll be a few more years before we can expand out here. It's got the population. 
Oh, go away. Keep the populace down where they belong. Yeah, this army here could certainly use a few extra troops. Might be a good idea to trigger this guy before it gets too big. Okay, I've got a decent number of troops. Let's uh, let's recruit some more. Uh, I mean, a decent number of manpower. is expanding. I mean, they don't have anywhere near as many barbarians to worry about either. It would have been interesting to see how a Carthage campaign would go. If, I mean, if this, if this campaign gets, like, shitloads of views, I'm down to play more. With the lead-up to Imperator Rome, that is can't wait for that game to come out. Looks amazing from what I've seen so far. Just just, just five screenshots. Which is more information than we have on than than Three Kingdoms. Probably get rid of those. It's costing me money. At least uh, the ships don't cost us manpower. It's just, just upkeeping gold. No, you're going the wrong way. If you travel over that way, you're probably going to cause them to show up and kill you. Good. Shouldn't be too much longer before we can think about this one as well. Good. Our manpower is increasing quite quickly now. Independence guaranteed by the Seleucid Empire. Fuck me. If I declared war on them, i go to war with the Seleucids as well. That would basically just mean game over. <laughs> well, they can't they can't take all of my territories in one go, but you don't you don't ever want to lose a war. Hard to come back from that. Especially if you're losing a war to an already big power. By comparison. I wonder if Egypt would be an ally to me. Nope, they won't have it. Probably because of my tarnished reputation. But we could probably bypass that by declaring war on, let's see here, Bosphoran Kingdom. If we did that, independence guaranteed by Macedon, allied with Macedon Pontus. Yeah, that's how we could do it. Oh, wait, can we even do that? Yeah, we've got Cassus Belly for some reason. But that would mean, still, it's a triple way alliance against us. What about this one here? See, they're not allied to Macedon, and that's who I want to smash first. I guess if we took them out quickly, before these guys could muster their forces over to us, it wouldn't be so bad. Maybe wait until Pontus declares war on one of these guys out here. Because it should be pretty easy for us to just smash Macedonia really quickly. Alright, we've got a decent amount of gold. Oh, I should invoke an omen. I really don't want them getting powerful. Just whatever. Just whatever. Reduce of barely any money. Um, I need some ships. I think... A strong navy out here could go a long way. 
expensive though. So the plan is this, if we have a strong enough navy, we come over here and we block the, uh, the whatever this is called, the, the Straits into Byzantium. If they can't get in this way, they have to go by sea. It's just not going to be as good for them. If they come charging down here, they're going to trigger barbarian invasions, which of course I'll have to deal with, but it will wipe out their army as well. Pontus has some territory up here. Alright, I'm going to hire a mercenary over here to trigger this force. And I still want to hire some more troops here. Can I get some archers? How about some cavalry? Don't really worry too much about getting the horse archers because well, it's not like I can control them. You don't get to fight the battles manually. I tell you what. Oh fuck. How many is that? Oh shit, 27 troops. Wait. Oh, man, I, I don't, kind of don't want to go in there to save Massilia, but that glorious civilization value, i got to preserve it. I'm just going to assume that they're in a shit state because they lost, lost the battle there. Are you going to come in and help as well? This is what I'm saying, we need more troops over here. Alright, let's... Oh, piss! Oh, fuck me, they dropped it by a huge portion. Fuck! It's too late. I didn't see it. That's just going to reduce the spread of civilization now. Need more troops. How good are you as a commander? Uh, come on, let's. We can probably do a little bit better than six. Nope. Right, you should come over here and assist just in case he fails. I'm really annoyed about that. If I had been like a couple more days, I could have gotten there. But he dropped down by so much. Ah, oh, it's increasing. I guess that's good. And ruler's legacy. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Ah, uh, where one door closes, another door opens. This is really good. By doing this, our console loses popularity and wealth, but Rome gains five civilization. Now, Rome, at the start of this game, is the most civilized state in the world. And at 90, the max is 100%. At 90%, there's no way to increase it because you can't, you, you it, it, uh, it spreads by osmosis. So you need an event like this. And when you do that, this will help spread the uh, the spread of um, civilization only by a little bit. Okay, so we won that easily. Okay, don't worry about it. We're good. Get some civilization over. They'll actually spread it over here. And trade agreements are worth more if you, if you trade with foreign countries, I think. Now they picked up some troops from here, now they've got 34,000. But still, we absolutely crushed them in that battle before, and this one here is a larger army. So even if they picked up a 7,000 men, I think we killed 7,000 here. this first legion okay so yeah it shouldn't take too long for that civilization to, to increase it's actually increasing very quickly
Even with a rolled zero, typical, we're still beating them. God, just for once I'd like to see a good roll dice. Although we didn't need a good roll dice here. Oh god damn another zero. Two thousand is not too bad. And now we've got twenty units here. Oh, wait, it was only nineteen. Oh wait, still waiting on one more to show up. Maybe you come here. Good, we're almost at our max limit again. Yeah, smashing them this time. They just they didn't recover enough of anything really. And we scored a good dice roll. Now because they looted Massalia, Massalia, whatever, um, if we defeat them we should gain some gold for it. Well, you're not winning that, but I didn't want them to go there in the first place. I mean, I didn't want them to fight in the first place. I wanted them to come over here. They're still good. Our manpower's decent. Well, we made loads of gold from that. Nice. We've got more barbarians coming in here. 17 units, though. Should be fine. You better hurry up before he bloody attacks us. Oh, they just barely got any troops anyway. That's it, yeah, smash him. Oh, another one? Whatever. More slaves with more money. So that's not too bad. So first legion, that's this one here, right? No, that's second. This one's first legion. That's not too bad. All right, I'll give you that. Well, so do that because it has the lowest amount of impact, because we're more than likely to fail it every single time. I mean, I'd really like to get more population growth, but the chance of that happening is just too low. If it was above 50%, I might risk it, but while it's at 36%, not going to risk it. Democratic Republic. Blech. No, thank you. Good, things are starting to stabilize a bit now. With the increase of monthly um, troops you know, per month, even though we're taking loads of casualties, 
you know, constantly defending our borders, it's not so bad. Oh, fuck me, where did they show up? 16 units. Well, we'll easily be able to beat them, I just didn't know they were there. Slaves for us, plenty of money. Oh, I guess his loyalty is too low. Prick. Luckily, he's old, so we just wait for him to die of old age. Won't take too long. Just wanted to unite the fleet. And with more money, we can increase the size of our fleet. I heard a mercenary at some point. There it is. His job is to go and trigger this, which is now at 11, so we can just hurry up and deal with it before it gets completely out of hand. Good, we shouldn't be seeing too much problem from here for a little while. That's good. What's Amber do again? Local tax modifier. Ooh, that's good. Um, it'd be good to import Amber into Rome. Okay, got there in time, and we easily smashed him by the look of it. Okay, there's the triggering, and our mercenary is dead, which is why we hide the mercenary. Where, where is he going? Three shot. Okay. Get them there. So how many thousands of troops do they have? 10,000. Okay. 14,000 should handle it. No problem. We should also start getting cores in these territories fairly soon. What's, what's your problem? Ruler unpopularity. Okay, that's fixed. Okay. So the nationalism is it's still got a little while to go, but it's it's not as bad now. And once it becomes a core, do we get extra taxes or it's just Yeah, I don't know. Once it's a core, if we ever lose it, we can take it back without having to go through nationalism again. Good, the, the mercantile faction's huge. I don't care as long as it's not the popularists. Where's he going? Okay. So, is he a superior? What is your goddamn problem? So, you, it's still 43%, that's fine. But he's not, is it, a, generally speaking, a disloyal person? Grant you some titles just so you don't cause a civil war on us or something. Alright, I'll start wrapping up the episode. Yeah, I'll start wrapping it up now. Everything seems to be pretty, pretty stable. I've got a decent amount of manpower. I just need to figure out how to get Macedon with the lowest number of casualties on my side. Who do I need to declare war on to make that happen? Anyway, I'll figure that out next time. So like and subscribe, part 3 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.